Hey guys, Krista here from Davy and Krista. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a pop out mega menu and show it just like this one. So I don't think that a mega menu is great for every website scenario. I think in a lot of cases, if you have a simple, very straightforward menu like this one, where we have six easy to find navigation links, that is all you need. But I know that in some cases, a site may have so many pages and so much going on that it's helpful to add that menu to give people more options. So I'm going to teach you how to make that in show it. So I have a show it template loaded in our account. This is our rosemary design, and I'm going to come up to the main navigation and I'm going to keep this primary navigation in here. And I'm just going to add a secondary navigation up here that will open up the menu. So to start, I'm going to add an icon. So I'm going to come over here to icon and I'm going to move it up to the top right corner and let's make it a darker color. So it's easier to see and it matches the rest of our navigation links. And then I'm going to change the icon to look like one of these hamburger menus. So show it has all of these menus built in, which is really helpful. I'm going to make it smaller. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to set, um, set it to be locked to the side of the page. And I'll show you what that looks like in a preview. So instead of it being over here, kind of in the middle of the page above contact, it's going to be flush to the right of the page. I think I said left. I actually mean right. Uh, okay. So I'm also going to turn on the mobile navigation. And in this one, I think I'm going to turn this off on mobile just because we already have a mobile navigation in our template. Um, and I think that if you were doing this on your main website, you could just add a little bit more to your mobile map navigation that already pops up. So let's hide this icon on mobile. I'm going to come back to my page and I need to make a new canvas. So we'll take this canvas and I'm going to add a blank canvas. And to make it easy to see, I'm going to move it up here below our hero spot because um, we'll actually put it in a different spot in a minute. I'm going to make this canvas larger and I'm going to set it to have no background. So we'll make this a transparent background. So I'll just set this to be zero instead of having a color. And I'm going to add a shape to give it that background color that kind of fills half the page. So let's add a rectangle. Let's lock this to the side of the page. I'm going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to set this to be locked to that side. I'm also going to set this canvas so that it fills the whole screen. That's kind of one of those optional things. But I think if we're going to create something like this example, it looks nice to have it fill the top to bottom of the screen. So let's come back here. I'm going to click on my canvas and I'm going to set this to be instead of canvas type normal. I want it to be the window height. And I'm also going to ch check this canvas to be hidden to start and we need to make it sticky to the top. And then I need to come over to mobile and I want to make sure that, well, actually we're not doing mobile, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to rename this to be mega menu, and then I'm going to just hide it on mobile. So we don't have to worry about it accidentally showing up on mobile. And once I've done those sort of things, I can come back to this shape. And I'm going to set it to lock to the top and the bottom at the same time. I actually think I might change this to be stretching to the side, but we'll kind of play with that in a minute and see how it's looking. I think that to save myself some time, I'm going to come down here and copy some of these links that I already have because that'll give me some formatting um, already. So we'll copy that and then I can start selecting these guys and making them smaller and white so that they show up over that black text or that black background. So um, let's say that we wanted to break this up in two different headings. Maybe we'll make this a little bit bigger too. So let's make that a little bit bigger. And we want this to be, um, we could make this a category. So let's say that it's um, for couples. And we want to make this smaller. And here in our text properties, I'm going to make this a P text because I don't think it needs to be a heading. And we could come in here and start to say um, engagement photos, copy paste, wedding photos. Anniversary photos. 
and let's select all of them and make sure that they're lined up evenly on the left. And then we could also do destination. And these could each link to a, their own page. So destination photos. Um, and so we could set a click action for each one of these to go to different pages. I don't have all of these pages made, but in an ideal world, I would have those pages made and then I could easily link to them. I'm also going to uncheck that one so that it doesn't go to any pages. And then I'm going to copy and paste. I think I'm going to get rid of this stuff because I don't need that. I'm going to copy and paste. Actually, I'm going to keep a line. I'm going to delete that text and unselect the background so I don't um, break it. We could also lock that background if we wanted. That can make it easier to format sometimes. I'm going to remove this line. I, if I wanted to do something that has two columns like this, I could also do that. Um, so I could shorten these text boxes because we don't need them to be so long. So shorten, 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 and grab and select all of these and pull them over. Unselect that box, pull them here. And then we could take this line and we can make it vertical and come up here to the top and to the bottom. And we're gonna set this to be, um, not that way. We're gonna stretch it to be stretching to the top and the bottom. And we might need to play, play with some of the spacing in a second, we'll test that. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna copy and paste this. And so this could be our second set of links. This could be, um, for photographers and this could go to um, coaching and the course free resources um, we'll just get rid of one more so we don't need that one okay another thing that we need to do is we need to add a icon up here in the top corner to close this area so we'll go back and do an icon and I'm gonna make it smaller, much smaller, I think. And we'll change it to be an X. So our close icon is right here. And we're gonna have a click action on this that hides this canvas. So we're gonna set this to hide and this canvas. And I'm also gonna right now turn this into a site canvas. And then I'm gonna remove it from the home page. And I'm gonna come down here into my canvas set and go up into our navigation area and we'll add this mega menu up here and that will make it appear on every single page that has this canvas set. So that's gonna make it easier to come up here and click on this um, hamburger menu and add a click action to show the mega menu. So it's all the way down at the bottom and I'll click off of it. And then let's preview this and see how it's working and if we need to make any adjustments. So click on that. It's not showing up. And I think that is because we need to change the stacking order. So if we come into this navigation menu, this um, mega menu, right now the stacking order is set to be zero. If you're going to do one of these pop-up menus, I think it's helpful to do it as something like 99 instead. And that'll mean that it shows up above other items. So. Let's preview it and see how it's working. Don't need a mobile version. All right, we're getting there. We need to add some locking to these guys. And I think I might've left the horizontal expand on this box um, because it is definitely looking funny. So, and that is not closing it. So we'll, we'll figure that one out too. Let's come back here. Let's click on our X icon and my click action didn't save. So. We'll try this again, hide this canvas and hide that site canvas. I'm gonna set this to be locking to the side. I'm gonna set all of these to lock to the side of the screen. And let's preview this because sometimes it's helpful to do the stretching one. I think that this edge locking one is gonna look better. Um, I think I could go either way on this one. Um, let's try this one too this guy. So I think that our issue is that I just need to switch the height and the width on this line instead of doing a rotation. So I'm going to make this one by six, six, seven, and I'm going to have to 
find it and then turn it and we'll move it over here. And let's just see what this looks like if I did this edge locking, the other version of it, instead of like, so this would like stretch to the side instead of locking to the side. I think, I don't want hovers on this. I think I like this better. Okay, so let's undo that one. And these were formerly links and now they are no longer links, which means I need to take off that hover. And I think I'm gonna move this over and then drag and select everything and uncheck the line and uncheck the box and just move it over a little bit more. Um, and then from here, I could take these guys and add an image, add an image, Let's just make it square. So 200 by two, not 300, 200. And I'll move this up here, make it even smaller. I'm going to unlock that one. And I'm going to center that and center this. And we could name this um, like the name of our free guide. Free guide, engagement photo, locations. I would definitely be more specific than that. We're just going to be quick because I'm making this up as we go. Um, but this is a good way to get people to see all of the different content that you have, especially if you have a lot of content that you want to drive people to. I can grab this guy and I might make all of this a little bit smaller. So let's try doing that. And I think in an ideal world, this text might be even smaller, but I think for now we're just going to let it go. So let's hit preview and see how this is looking. Here's our menu. It opens up and I could play with some of the spacing or the locking um, or set this not to expand or set this not to expand to the full width if I didn't want it to be locked and stretched to the side. All right, so that is how you make a mega menu in Show It. Super easy. Um, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like this video and you want to see more tutorials or content for growing your business from us, make sure you hit like and subscribe on our channel. Thanks guys.